Did we really spend $240 at a secondhand consignment sale? We sure did. If you wanna spy on what we got and see what we do when I'm not in the kitchen, then keep on watching. What's up universe? It's Julie, your kitchen coach, and welcome back to our channel. I'm a chef, mom, and avid thrifter, and today I'll be talking about my life beyond the kitchen. We decided to go to a secondhand sale or a consignment sale called Just Between Friends. I've been going there for years. One day I promise you I will be a consigner because I need to earn my money back. <laughs> Usually, I end up going alone to these sales. The cool thing was this time Joe came with me. Actually, he came with me starting from the last time I went and it was a lot of fun. So this time it was extra fun because by now he has the eye of the tiger too. The reason that we were able to go to this consignment sale was because Lincoln was in school and usually we don't sacrifice a school day to go off and do errands, go on dates, have fun or anything like that of that sort. We wouldn't dare, it's too precious. But these sales only happen a few times a year. Joe knows that it's coming, like it's important to me. I put on our calendar for like a good month in advance. You have to get tickets for it. For us, because we're considered first time parents, even though Lincoln is now four years old, we still are first time parents. We don't have another kid, so we still qualify and we're able to get these tickets for pre-sale, which is the day before the sale actually starts for free. But mind you, by the time we got there, we were already kind of a day late in a sense because they sell tickets for pre-sale too, when people can get in earlier than us. So I know that it's already been picked through, but literally I have the thrift eye and I can find anything anywhere. But this time I was really impressed that Joe was able to find as many things as he was too. What'd you find over here? What are you, some sort of thrifter? I'm a man with many skills. And guess what? It was so fun to hang out. This was kind of like two birds with one stone. Even though we work together, most of the time we are very separate doing our own thing. So this is our first time that we can like hang out and kind of like go on a date thrifting for Lincoln stuff. It was a lot of fun. And after the sale was over, Joe agreed it was a lot of fun too. But the cool thing about kids consignment sales is that everything's catered towards stuff for kids. So you don't have to weed through too much stuff. Secondly, because it's consignment, people are bringing the stuff here for a profit. That means their stuff has to be good good quality, some of it's still new in the packaging, new with tag, or barely worn. But man, we sure went overboard. I thought that we were gonna find nothing there. I had like no expectations. Lincoln's just at that age where he's starting to age out of this kind of group for this sale in particular. It's a lot of baby stuff. So if you're a new mom, then it's something worth checking out. I bet you they have them like all over the country or like some sort of version of this all over the country. So you don't have to live just where I do, which is in the suburbs of Chicago. And Joe was on a mission. He's the one that now hunts for Lincoln's clothes when we go to thrift stores. Like we just part the seas and he just goes there. And I tend to look for the bibbity bobs, the specialty items, the toys. Joe found triple the amount of stuff that I'm showing you. But then at the end of it, uh, we weeded it out. We just put it out on these racks and then we weeded out which ones were yes, no's, and maybe's. So these are the yeses, which is still a lot. The first item is this little set for $2.50. And it's the whole t-shirt and the jogger pants. They're very thick and there's no holes or stains. And of course I liked it because of the Avengers. Lincoln's just at the age where he's gonna start liking superheroes next. I think all the boys grew through the same phase. So he's currently in the Hot Wheels and Monster Trucks, a little bit into Paw Patrol, but now this is gonna go next and it's in the next size. So we got that and I thought it was an excellent deal for $2.50 for the whole thing. Because they're all sold by different consigners, they're gonna be different prices. So it's up to you as a consumer if you want to buy it or not. So this is $4 for the one pair of pants and it's a jogger. But we thought it was worth it because it's a Carter's brand. It has pockets with the drawstring, plus it matches with everything. I purposely left all the price tags on. We went to this consignment sale, was it like two weeks ago now? I haven't had time to film it. So I just left it in the middle of our living room with the tag still on, just for you guys. So here's some old navy pants. And this one has kind of like that canvasy um, materials, more like a trouser pant, but still an elastic band. This was $3. 
And this I thought was really cool. This is totally up my alley and my style. I feel like Joe starts to know my style, my aesthetic too. So he pulled out this, which are construction trucks and also sharks. Two things that Lincoln's definitely into, plus blue, his favorite color. So these two guys were $6 and they are both from Jimboree. And you know Jimboree is good quality stuff. Fun fact, I actually worked with my friend Yen on a Jimboree commercial. Uh, because you know that my background is in fashion design and my friend currently still works in the designing world So when we were living in California, she put me on set to help her with the Jimboree commercial He found this little vineyard vines hoodie and I was telling Joe if anything if you're gonna be on the hunt for anything Make sure it's more like zip-up hoodies because Lincoln lives in zip-up hoodies. He's all about comfort and layers so this was super cute with the little vineyard vines whale icon logo and so this was six dollars a little pricier for a one item but we thought it was worth it because it's something that he will probably wear over and over again so this one was four dollars and it's just a blue hoodie with like stripes again i feel like it's very basic and lincoln will wear it all the time this is old navy and this is a cool little zip up windbreaker for six dollars with the hood and the mesh insert Definitely appropriate for this weather as it's warming up. This Cat and Jack gray stripe Henley shirt, um, nice kind of like thermal material. I think this is a good transition piece as it's still a little bit cold outside right now currently, but will warm up and this is $4. I think Joe scored good on this one. This is a J. Crew zip up hoodie sweatshirt for $5. And I like that it's just plain too. That's what I kind of prefer, just like nothing on it. Lincoln already does have plenty of shorts that he can still squeeze himself into, but Thought this was a good deal. Joe found these for $3 for two shorts. This is actually Nike too. Though this one's Nike and I think this other one's probably Old Navy. Oh no, Carter's. Um, yeah, but two pairs of comfy shorts for $3. Ooh, another Jimboree. This is $3 for a navy blue drawstring short. Super comfy. And this is $3 for a Carter's um, gray shorts with pockets. I love these things the best if you're a mama boys because you can just throw anything on top. Aren't these the cutest pajamas? I love this look. This is Avengers, but it has like this pixelated video game look to it. So this is a size six so that it's a little bit bigger for him so you can grow into it. And this was $5 for the pajama set, the top and the bottom and a bonus bottom. Okay, this one I personally, sorry Joe, wasn't that into, but he was into it. These are two sets of polo by Ralph Lauren polo shirts. But the reason I wasn't that into it was because I felt like they looked a bit faded, you know? And also Lincoln's not really into that kind of preppy look. He doesn't look, especially, it's still pandemic. We're not going anywhere to impress anyone these days. I was like, eh, but the only reason I was fine with it is because it's actually two polo shirts by Ralph Lauren plus Gap shorts and it's the whole thing was three dollars so it's a dollar a piece i'm like you can't really you know go wrong with that okay so joe found a ton of jeans which is like a miracle you know what's really weird during pandemic time right when it was about to hit i went to target and i was looking for boys pants specifically and i could not find them like, i found one pair of pants it was like all swiped out so when i went here i was like oh my gosh there's just like waterfalls of pants so there were so many jeans, I ended up weeding a lot of them out and just picked this one, which is a, a straight stretch. And this is $5. Um, I like that they were kind of like skinny jean type, but also very stretchy and soft. So they're not that crunchy material that Lincoln doesn't like. Um, he's all about movement and comfort at this age. And then this one, which is a little indigo color, same thing. This is a Cat and Jack, has a little bit of distressing on it. Um, but it's super soft and this was $4. This one I debated back and forth about because it's Paw Patrol, which he is currently into, but you know he's gonna grow out of it very quickly. And so there's, this one is $3, but I wasn't about to get it because it's very like trendy and short-lived, but there was also a little snag here. But we saw that if you just cut it with scissors, it shouldn't unravel. It's kind of like a towel material over here. Um, but yeah, just the way it looks is super cute. And I like that it's a hoodie. He's currently really into Blaze and the Monster Machines on Noggin. And so this is $3. And it's kind of funny because he actually has all three of these characters as little toys. So he hasn't seen this shirt yet, but he's going to love it. And I think this one was a good deal. Yeah, so this is $5. And these are all Nike. So nice athletic 
stuff that he can wear when he's playing sports, basketball, just out in the beach, whatever, during the summer. So yeah, this comes with like a little mesh Nike top. I love the back, actually. I didn't notice it before, but that's kind of cool. I love that it's like meshy and like breathable. And then it comes with, um, I don't know if they're supposed to be matching or not. Can't tell. Oh yeah, I guess these are the matching mesh shorts here. And then here's another pair of Nike, kind of the athletic shorts. But yeah, this was $5. The thing with kids clothes is that they grow out of it so extremely fast. I mean, really, like you can have clothes in your closet and dresser that they will never wear by the time you get around to it because of whatever reason, like especially during the pandemic, I'm sure a lot of you moms can relate that you probably have dress clothes or like dressier stuff that you barely put on them and they still have tags on them or they wore them one time because we didn't really go anywhere. And now what you do with them, right? So a good idea is to just save them up and take them to these kind of consignment sales and try to make a little bit of money. But yeah, this was super cute. I, this is definitely my style. So I liked this kind of like subtle look. Um, so this is $7 because I feel like it does have that like nicer quality look to it. What brand is this? I don't even know. Oh, so is this Zara? In the past, I've picked up a lot of clothes from Zara for him that he always wore and I really love for him. I just love the look of Zara boy stuff. And then we got this funny thing is I asked Joe specifically to look out for these kinds of things. He had received one of these kind of sleeveless zip up hoodies and he was living in it. He was like wearing it a lot. It was a very practical thing to have because you can just layer it very quickly on top of t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, button downs and it gives them a little extra warmth and style. So Joe actually found something. I was like, can you look for those like sleeveless hoodies? Cause he had just outgrown the one that he was wearing. So yeah, I found this old Navy one for $4. And this is definitely something that he can just throw on on top of everything. I even love the color of this. Monster trucks is Lincoln's current favorite obsession, that and Hot Wheels. So anything monster truck related, this is really cute. I think this is a pajama set or just like a home lounging set. But in all honesty, you could just wear it separately like out in public probably, like this is t-shirt or just the shorts. So this together would be $4. Even when I feel like I have enough of these basic joggers, by the time I go to look for it in his drawer to dress him in the morning, I'm like, what happened to all his basic joggers? So this one was a good deal. This one was two of these joggers in gray tone for $3. This is half price of like one of the other ones that I showed you where it was just like one jogger for like what, like $6 or $4. So this one I thought was really cool because it not only has the Chicago Cubs on it, because we're from Chicago, but it also has Star Wars and uh, just a plain, which I love the best actually, a plain pocket tee. I thought all of these were really cute and it was $3. So again, it was kind of like a dollar a piece. I thought this one was so cute that Joe found and this is um, a Mario characters one from Gap. It's $3.50 and Lincoln's been into Mario stuff. Not that he plays video games yet, but he watches on YouTube kids, other kids playing video games. Does your kid do that? Isn't that super weird? I mean, I guess it's just as weird as you watching me cook instead of you cooking yourself or you watching me shop instead of shopping yourself. And then lastly, Joe found this Cherokee Navy hoodie and it was $8 and I was like, oh, that's a little bit pricey, let's put it back. But then I don't think Joe heard me, so I think he bought it anyway, but it's fine because it's that pricey because it's new with tag. So, you know, I guess because it's newer, never been worn. Thought this was nice and he'll definitely wear this. It's blue, it's basic. And I love how buttery soft this one is actually. It's super comfortable. That was a lot of clothes guys, but yeah, didn't Joe do a great job? Give me a thumbs up in this video to give Joe a thumbs up. He sees all the comments and everything and tell him, you know, give him a comment like of encouragement, like you did good Joe or like nice taste or like something like that because I was really proud of him. Okay, the next thing are shoes. And I know some people have issues with shoes. And the funny thing is that Joe was one of them. But I feel like if you just lice all it up and then clean it, I use like laundry detergent, dishwashing detergent. And plus I only buy things that seem to be in great condition to begin with. The last time we ever got him Crocs or Natives was at this same exact consignment sale. So these are some Crocs that Joe found and they have this kind of camo look to it. He's gonna wear these cause he lived in his other Crocs. It's a good slip on over the summer. He can wear it outside with his water sports and even at the sand or the beach or whatever. So this will be his current size for this summer and he may outgrow it by next year. 
but at least it was seven dollars which again shoes are going to be a bit pricier especially if they're name brand but yeah i still think it's worth it because he'll probably live in these and then these were five dollars but i love that this is these are from stride right so you know this is like the brand that's very comfortable for kids super flexible and padded and i like that these are the velcro strap so that his feet won't slide out like you could run around but then they still have that kind of natives or crotch style with the holes and the weaving so that um, you can play with like water sports and things like that i thought these were so cute and they're very clean like look at the soles this was in this little ziploc bag these were expensive and we were really debating not buying them especially because we found these other two guys this is 14 dollars, and again it's that because it's new with tag so definitely never been worn super spotless and it's great quality these are also stride right and if you actually touch it and you look at the inside it says memory foam so i like this kind of gladiator sandal look because it's still very practical like you can get this in the mud and in the dirt and water but it looks a little dressier oh i just noticed that they're machine washable that's awesome now that we got it even though we were debating back and forth i'm so happy i picked out this crane okay so this i thought was so cute just the way that it looked because first of all i'm a sucker for anything that's wooden like wooden toys they just have a nice look to them that looks very clean and i feel like i don't know like they're less likely to break and they promote good motor skills and stuff and this crane actually moves in two directions like it moves forwards and backwards and then it moves up and down and it turns around at 360. and this was eight dollars but i was like you know what i think he's gonna really like it he had a crane it was plastic and it broke so this is to replace it but then later on when i brought it home i saw the tag on it and i was like oh no wonder i recognize it because it's from pottery barn then I was thinking about summertime, so I was looking around for like swim vests or, you know, things like that, things to kind of help them in the summer. And I found this little boogie board kickboard. And this is from Swimways, and it's from the Finding Dory line, and it's new. So it's never been used, and it's still in its shrink wrap. So this was for $2.50. I don't know how much they are normally. I feel like this can't be that expensive because it's just a piece of foam. But still, I was like, eh you know same concept as the shoes right it's like shrink wrapped and it's new and it's right there so i'm like this will be good for you know when we're in the pool or something this summer there's something about being a thrifter that like you start finding weird things where like people wouldn't look so i found this rumpled jumbled like bag of play-doh which most people would probably skip over because you're like play-doh is so cheap as it is i can just get it anywhere but i was intrigued i looked at it and it says play-doh bag new they specifically wrote that and this whole thing was two dollars so i wasn't really that interested in the new smaller like this is probably from the dollar tree this brand actually but i was more interested in these guys these are the ones that would be more expensive and they're the ones that look like streets and concrete so this one looks like rocks when you open it and this one looks like streets so he loves playing with his monster trucks on like kinetic sand actual dirt outside you know things yeah so this is new it hasn't been used and it has like a little bit of like a texture and like gold dust and like little speckles to make it look more like organic material or like a street and then they have little things on the top so that you can make the imprint of like the rocks or the street why not you know it's just we were there already and this whole set plus all these are new too was two bucks and there were so many people in the toy section actually it was like flooded with people mind you like a lot of it had been picked through by a full day already by the time i got to it but this one because it was like actually in the wrong spot it was like with some other you know toys that are not mcqueen cars this is five bucks and i wasn't going to get it because he already has a lot of cars character cars and this is not the die cast metal kind these are plastic but the cool thing about this is that this is new in the box which i didn't really notice right away i thought they were just like random cars and they just threw the packaging but this one is brand new the mcqueen character and it's in the plastic and it's meant to be like a demolition derby like in the cars 3 movie so it turns and does little tricks and then these guys came with it like this is like obviously they sell them individually but they also threw in the cruise character and then like a demolition derby car character and they all do the same thing as the mcqueen 
I actually thrifted this Miss Fritter school bus that's the same line. It's the plastic and has attorney wheels, and he loves this one. I thrifted this from Goodwill like a really long time ago by itself, and like it just seems kind of random and lonely by itself, and he always tries to uh, reenact the demolition derby scene from the movie, but he doesn't have all the appropriate cars, so I was like, he's going to die. He's going to love that. It's like all three of these guys, Cruz, McQueen, you know, if you guys seen the movie, they're like the main characters with the Miss Fritter. So I thought, oh, this will be so cool. He's going to love this. And to go along with that, this brown looking like a toilet seat type of thing hanging on the top of the rack where nobody touched it. No one was looking at it. Everyone's passing by. But the weirder it is, the more wrapped up in plastic it is, the more crazy it looks. I'm always interested. At the very top, I saw the car's logo. So I looked and it's $8. So I was kind of like, uh, $8 but it's a Lightning McQueen track set. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool because he doesn't have anything for his cars. This is why I like secondhand because he's gonna outgrow this phase very quickly. And I don't wanna spend so much money for all these like play sets together. So I actually didn't open this yet. This will be my first time opening it in front of you guys. But I guess you just open this and you can turn it into a track. Oh, there's like little pieces in here to make the tracks on top and then you just connect oh that's so cool and then you connect it like so it's like a storage case and it connects to each other and it attaches to this whole thing oh and it comes with these little like little characters too i'm sure maybe it came with more characters but it has these little like what he calls forklifts um character guys yeah so i can't wait to put this together and give this to him and then this is the actual the first item that i saw when i first got to the sale i wasn't excited I saw a lot of like cribs and baby stuff and you know, things like that. So I wasn't really interested and it kind of set the tone to make me feel like not in the mood. But then this first purchase made me open-minded and kind of like whet the appetite. It made me kind of like, okay, let's get started. Let's look for stuff. But because I saw the Paw Patrol logo and this was $6, it's the first time opening it on camera. Um, first of all, he loves road rugs of any kind. So we have a lot from like Melissa and Doug. I asked for them for Christmas for presents. Oh yeah, it has a nice grip on the bottom, what I'm looking for, so that doesn't slip around. And it is a legit rug, not like a weird, like crunchy, like play mat. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this whole scene. He's definitely gonna love playing with this. He doesn't really have Paw Patrol cars, which I totally could have bought, but I didn't. So he'll definitely play with this with like his Hot Wheels and stuff. I'm happy that we got this for $6. These guys were the funniest things. So I got two of these, okay? And I'll have to show it to you in our B-roll clip. But I was like, what is this? Because they were just by like the bikes and whatnot. And I was so curious. I saw them at the beginning of the sale, paid them no attention because they just looked random. And then I went back to them at the end, right when we we're about to leave. And then I knew I had to have them. They're sold for $18 a piece, so it's not cheap. And you know, we have one kid, so why am I buying both? But I figured like, because this is actually a table and chair that you can put out like on the patio, or you can put it on the front porch, or you could take it with you on the go, and then you can have a seat and a table for them wherever you go, which I think is great, especially because it folds up so nicely and compact. And of course, with these sales, I always make sure that everything works, that nothing's broken. So I took it out right in the middle of the store or like the area, pulled it out and made sure that they were all in good working order. And I love that the table can swivel down to be more like an architect table, you know, like a drafting table where it can be angled so they can do crafts or painting. When it's still during this pandemic and he wants to have play dates outside, I can have two so I can have one for a friend. I thought it was really worth it to get both and not leave one of them behind because I just thought it was such a gem. Okay, so the last thing we got was a bike and I could not believe it because in my mind I was thinking it would be nice to find him a tricycle and I found this one for, I think it's, was it $15? Um, there's a little bit of tears in the seat and it's not like in perfect working order. Joe had to come home and pump air into the tire and like, you know, probably have to patch up the seat. But for $15, you can't lose, you know, like even if he doesn't use it, it's not a huge loss. Um, but I think that'll be a good way to start teaching him how to ride a bike and train him and make him feel like he's confident. So I tried putting him on it now, but he's still a little too small for it, so he gets scared. But we're gonna definitely use it starting from this summer. I'm exhausted from doing that all. I have to go do another video next. 
and I don't know when that's coming out, but it's a cooking video, so hopefully you enjoyed that. But I hope you enjoyed this haul because it's a part of me, it's some of my interests, and a little bit of the workings of my brain and showing you a little bit of our style. Also, it was great for Joe and I to be able to let loose, have fun and hang out together and do a hobby together because we usually don't do something like that. And in the beginning, when I started doing this thrifting stuff, like he was so not into it, nor did he care about the loot I would bring home. But it was so like, I don't know, awesome to see him come around and really enjoy doing it. And when I asked him if he enjoyed it and he had fun, he said he did. So I don't know, it's kind of nice to see that something that interests me is now interesting him. I hope that's the way with you guys too. Like if you've never done thrifting, you've never done secondhand shopping or been to a kid's consignment sale, definitely give it a try, especially if you're a mom-to-be and you, you want to save some money and get some good quality stuff. And the best thing is it's like the circle of life because eventually you can decide to be a consigner too and hopefully make back some of that money. Um, so that's what I plan to do, maybe not the next one, but maybe soon. And if I ever do, I'll probably take you along on my journey or talk about my experience in a vlog about that too. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. Leave me down below in the comments what was your, the coolest thing that you think I found and if you've ever been to a consignment sale too. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to push like, subscribe, and that bell for notifications so you can know when any videos come out next. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.